Hello, I am Christo Chen from Exotery Finnish channel and today's themed defective topic is sanding scratches. As we all know, sanding is an essential work for finishing to provide required adhesion to the subsequent layers by increasing the surface area. At the same time, we need to get a flat and smooth surface through sanding, but if it is handled incorrectly, you will see sanding marks appear after drying. It could be irregular lines or spiral sand paper marks that directly affects the appearance of paint film and could even lead to work being necessary. What then can cause these annoying sand marks? The main reason is that the scratches from the sand paper used are not filled by the surfacer or filler because they are too deep. Once the top coat is applied, these scratches become visible again. Basically, there are three reasons why sandy scratches appear. First, using two coats a grid of abrasive will cause scratches that cannot be filled by the filler or surface. Be aware that jumping too far between grids of sandpaper can cause sand scratches to appear later when top coat is applied as the final sandpaper cannot remove the deep scratches. Second, surfacer or filler is sanded before it is fully dried. When the top coat is applied, the surfacer or filler can resolve and lead to sand scratch swelling. Third, using a sheet book hardeners or activators, thinners or reducers. For example, using too slow a thinner or reducer in cool temperatures. Even if the subsequent drying and sanding are all correct, the solvents retained in the film could swell the undercoat, causing the sand scratch to appear when the paint is dried. First, using the recommended grade of sandpaper is very important. The rule of thumb is you should never jump more than 100 grit when using abrasives. Second, dry surfacer or filler thoroughly before sanding and painting. Third, follow instructions for substrate preparation or the technical date sheets. Use the correct hardener or activator and thinner or reducer and adjust the viscosity properly. If the sand scratches appear, what needs to be done to remedy them? We should distinguish the severity of the sand scratches first. If they are light and not too deep, they can be removed by polishing after sanding with P1000 to P5000 paper. But if the sand scratches are deep, you should remove the coating completely and respray. Okay. That's all for today's topic. Remember, in order to avoid sandy scratches, it is important to select the appropriate abrasive, thoroughly dry before standing, and use the shape of products. Thank you for tuning and see you next time in our paint defect tutorial.